what if I told you that your life is actually working perfectly and that your business is exactly the state where it should be at? Now, you might say, well, no, I, there are certainly uh, things in my life that aren't going the way I want them to. Uh, my business is certainly not where I'd like it to be. These things are not perfect, George. Well, actually, if you take on this idea that there is a system beneath and behind all of the results that you are getting, if you take that idea on, it actually becomes very empowering. And the idea basically would presuppose that your life and everything in your life is working exactly the way it's supposed to. And very importantly, you have influence over some and actually many of the systems that are behind and beneath your results. This is an empowering idea because otherwise, many people give their power away by saying, my life is not perfect because of these other people in my life. They're not doing what they're supposed to do. They're not uh, you know, doing what they agreed to do. My life, my business is not perfect because the economy is not how it should be. My uh, energy and my health, they're not perfect, they're not great because of genetics, because of karma, because of the stars. Now, obviously, there are causes that are beyond our control. You obviously can't consciously right now, in this very moment, change your genetics, although some people might disagree with me on that. And you know, epigenetics and the, the, the ability to actually consciously change our genetics over time. But uh, you can't consciously change your past life's karma right now. <laughs> okay, that was past life. Or some people might disagree with me there too. And you can't consciously change the stars and your astrology right now. However, okay, there are things outside of our control, but you always choose where to focus. That's, what, that's your choice. And when you choose to focus on the systems within your control, you take the power back that is your birthright. So let's, let me give you a couple of examples that are kind of mundane examples that might apply to some of you. And then I welcome your examples too in the comments below, if you can reflect and uh, on some of the results that you you don't love in your life and your or your business and what are some of the what's the system underneath it that you might be able to influence and modify so here's one example let's say that you constantly wake up late um, now i don't know what late means to you uh, late might mean for some of you it might mean you wake up at noon when you prefer to wake up at 10. <laughs> Some of you might need to wake up at by 8, you know, by, by 7 a.m. and you wake up instead at 7.45. I don't know what late means, but let's say you constantly wake up late. Okay. And you say, I wish I could wake up earlier. Okay. Now there's a system underneath that. And actually this system you, you very much can control. So you wake up late because, so here's the system, right? You wake up late because you sleep late. Well, duh, because you need to get a certain amount of sleep to be able to feel okay. No wonder you wake up late because you sleep, you sleep late. Now, why do you sleep late? Because, and what's the system underneath that? You sleep late because you start your evening routine late. So you end up sleeping at you know, 2 a.m. because you start your evening routine at you know, 1 a.m. or 1.30 a.m. And if you wish for that to be different, now, that's not necessarily anything that needs to be changed, but if you wished for that to be different, then you could say, great, let me try starting my evening routine at midnight. Then you end up sleeping at 1 a.m. And then now you can wake up at, 
you know, 9 a.m. instead and feel refreshed. I don't know what that means for you, but that is a system. Okay, another system we could talk about that's applicable to a lot of us. Maybe you wish you spent less time at the computer. You spent too much time at the computer. There's a system underneath that too. Everything has a system and it's up to you to use your mind, you know, maybe have conversations with um, others about what that system might be. So if you stay, if you hang out too much at the computer, what's the, the system behind that is you don't keep the boundaries of time when you're at the computer. You get into a trance. That's the system. The system is hypnotic trance because social media and videos <laughs> and whatever else, emails, whatever else is, is keeping you there. So you need to create a system or you need to tweak the system such that you are reminded about, mm, I've spent the, I spent half an hour at the computer now, an hour at the computer, well, however frequently you want to be reminded. Well, how can you be reminded? Well, there's a system behind that. Well, there are, there, there are tools such as your phone where you can set up regular alarms to remind you, okay, every three hours or whatever. It's like just to at least stand up and stretch and turn around so that you are you break the hypnotic trance of social media and the emails and the computer and whatever. And then you go and rest or you go get a, get a drink of water to refresh your, your mind and bring yourself back to conscious choice. Okay, so what about another system? George, I don't have enough clients. That's a system. It's clearly a system. And when I work with my students on this, oh, George, I don't have enough, I don't have enough clients. And then I look at their system of what they do every day at work. And I'm not surprised that they don't have enough clients because number one, they are not being visible to their ideal clients. They're not being visible. How, how can you get clients just by saying, I don't know what people do. I mean, they, they surf social media. They, they maybe try to talk to their friends about what they do, but they, they're not visible enough. You know, it, it, your, your content, it, well, first of all, they're not even creating content. And many of you, many of you, right, aren't creating content on a regular basis. So no wonder you can't be visible because you have nothing to share. All, all, if all you share is hire me, buy my stuff, here's my webpage. Everybody surfing social media doesn't, isn't going, hmm, gosh, I, can, I wish I could, I could find things to buy on Facebook today that cost me several hundred dollars or several thousand. Nobody's doing that. All right. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, whatever. People aren't going there. People are going there to find some relief, to find some delight, to find some inspiration, to learn something. Okay. And so, well, just like the fact that you're here, you want to learn something, you want to be inspired and, and hopefully find something useful for, your, for yourself. Well, I, of course, teach the very systems that I do to get clients, to get you know, buyers, to um, be more visible, to, to make more of a positive impact in the world. So the system behind I don't have enough clients is, well, you're not visible enough with helpful content Okay, let's start there. You're not sharing anything helpful to your ideal clients. And well, what's helpful to them? Well, there's a system underneath that too. Notice what they are sharing. Notice what your ideal, go to your ideal clients, Facebook profiles, Instagram accounts, uh, LinkedIn, you know, wherever you fall, wherever you can take a look at the profiles of your ideal clients and notice what they're sharing. Notice what they're talking about. If you join any groups that they're part of, Facebook groups that are part of, notice what they're asking. Well, those are the things that are on their mind right now. Those are the things that interest them. And if you could possibly even talk with some of them, uh, some of your own friends, some of your colleagues are actually ideal clients, the type of person who would be an ideal client for you, or they know people who are ideal clients for you. Well, have you talked with them to ask them what are they most curious about in the arena of what you provide? Of all the things you could talk about, what are they most curious to learn? Of the, of the services you provide, what do they most recommend that you should sell? 
or what have they bought that's related to what you sell? See, there's a system underneath all this. Now, you might say, George, I didn't realize that. The, yes, sometimes first, the first step, as I mentioned, is that, is that to empower yourself, you need to take on this, this self-talk that my life is working perfectly, just as it is because of the systems underneath it. And I have more choice of influencing those systems than I can imagine. Now, I, I've given you very practical things like, okay, if I need to you know, wake up earlier, I need to start my evening routine earlier. If I'm spending too much time at the computer, I need to set you know, regular recurring alarms to remind me to get up, stretch, turn around so that I'm not in trance all the time, okay? Uh, if I'm not getting enough clients, I need to share helpful content on a regular basis and occasionally also then share my services and my offers, right? I, I've given you very practical things, but some people believe, and now I don't know what your belief system is, but some people even believe that you can influence your karma in this very life. You can influence what happened in your past life. You can influence uh, how you relate to astrology and the stars. You can influence the stars' positions, but you can influence how you your energy is related. I mean, I don't. I mean, some people believe that. I, I don't know. Uh, you know, I, I heard about um, this analogy that I quite like, which is that your life is like this river. Okay, your life is like this river. Imagine your life going from past to the future to be like a long, the long river. And imagine your position on that river, the height, it, it, that river is deep, okay? And it's like, you know, the person used the word timeline. Your position on that river can either be closer to the top of the river where the light is shining or deeper down in, in the river where it's darker and more murky and essentially it talks about your emotions. So the person mentioned timeline. It's like you don't live in just one timeline. Now, this is kind of woo-woo speak, but you know, put, go with me here. You don't just live in one timeline. You can actually shift your timelines at will anytime you want. And the more you practice shifting your timelines, the more your life can become like heaven. I mean, I, I, I distinctly, I, I like this analogy because I distinctly remember that I used to really struggle and suffer in, in my life, really. I mean, much of my life um, from my, my youth, I, I, I suffered quite a bit in school because I, my family immigrated to, to a different country, well, from Taiwan to the United States when I was six and a half. So I had to learn a second language while being you know, confronted with first graders, second graders who, uh, you know, in a neighborhood that was mostly white. So I was one of the few minorities uh, who didn't speak English. And so not surprisingly, I was bullied and and then therefore I was traumatized about communication and writing early on. I, I hated writing. I felt like I was always a bad communicator. I didn't know what to say to people. I, I hated giving public talks. Um, well, as you can see, a lot has changed in my life, but I struggled and suffered for much for probably, I would say, gosh, I would say 35 to 40 years of my life was not that fun. I mean, I, and really only in the past, I'm 45 now, for those of you wondering, really only in the past five years, I feel like my life has become like heaven. I feel like I have shifted to a different timeline, if you want to use that word, imagine. I like sci-fi, so I'd like to think about how there might be different timelines, you know, Marvel, uh, Marvel Universe, you know, Avengers, right? Let's just use that as a, as a, as a, as a way to play with these ideas. But I, I like to think of it as, there are multiple timelines that I could possibly put myself into. And I've shifted into a really nice timeline now where I do feel like my life is like heaven most of the time. Um, you know, it's really like, yes, I know, I, I do believe there's an afterlife and it's going to be even better than this, but it, my life is so much more joyful um, than it used to be five, seven, 
years ago, you know, and starting then I started practicing joyful productivity. Uh, in other words, I started changing my systems. And the greatest system that you change is how you manage your thoughts, your self-talk, how you manage your emotions on a moment to moment basis, knowing that your emotions are natural. Your emotions are a system also. Your emotions are a habitual pattern of reacting and relating to the stimulus of life. I like the term catalyst. Uh, I got this from recently. Uh, my spiritual path has been such that I've gotten into some teachings based on the law of one. Um, now, I, 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 I don't, the law of one is supposed to be channeled literature from some alien society. I, I don't know if I believe that. I actually, I actually am leaning towards not believing that it was channeled from some alien society, but rather that the, the channeler is a genius. The person who, who, who brought this information forward had studied a lot of spiritual systems. Uh, she was a librarian. She had studied a lot of spiritual stuff. And when she was in trance, she just came forth with some of the most uh, genius, brilliant spiritual insights. So I, I think it's probably her subconscious, whatever, doesn't matter. But I, I'm learning a lot from, from anyway. So one of the uh, beautiful ideas is that every, every sensation that you receive in this life is a catalyst. What is a catalyst? A catalyst, and especially every experience you that is powerful in your life is a catalyst. What is a catalyst? It is an element that activates a uh, systems change in chemistry. This comes from chemistry. Let's say you've got, um, you know, just a cup of water, right? And you put a particular chemical in there and the water completely changes. It just it used to be clear water and now it's completely not clear, right? Or it used to be not clear and you put some chemical in there and now it's suddenly clear liquid. That's called a catalyst, right? And so every powerful experience in your life is a catalyst and, and the, from the material that actually said that every, every sensation, every single thing we experience is a catalyst. And it depends on how we want to use it. Do we want to, do we, do we just let it go by or do we use the catalyst for our transformation? And as I've said, do we use the catalyst to change our timeline, to go from a murky part of the river to a higher part of the river where we can, we can experience more of the light? that our emotions are healthier and more uplifted. Our emotions are a system. You may feel anxious or badly much of it now. You might say, George, no, no, it's genetics, it's karma, it's family upbringing. Now you're telling me about things that you can't control. Do you see what I mean? And, and sure, you can focus on all that, but I, as I'm saying, everything you focus on you are either giving yourself more choice and power or you are taking it or you are giving it away, you're, you're putting it away. So if you're saying my emotions are always anxious and depressed and, and, and it's because my mother treated me this way, it's because of my genetics, it's because of the stars, it's because of past life, then well, then what can you do? do you just keep going with your, in, in, no, okay, fine. Well, like I said, what if, we take on some woo-woo idea and say you can even change your past life. Some people believe that. Some people believe that by the choices you make today, because time is not linear, time is all happening at once, past, present, and future. Somehow in the spiritual world, it's all happening at once. So what if we take on this woo-woo? I don't know. Again, I'm, I, I always take everything with, with, with a grain of salt. And to say, I accept everything to say, well, that's a possibility. I don't know what the absolute truth is. I, I'm only one human being with a very limited, you know, uh, or you could say, I'm, I'm the creator, you are the creator. And we, but what if you could change your past life? What if some, by some magical ability, you could actually change your upbringing? Yeah, but George, my upbringing already happened. What, what the heck are you talking about? My, my mother already raised me. My father already, already, already abused me or whatever it is that some people might say. Well, what if there is a magical capability where you are changing quantum jumping? I don't know what you want to call it, but you're able to change what happened in your past. Or, okay, that's one possibility. 
just take that on. That's an empowering thought. Okay. We don't know if that's true or not. George science says it's not true. Okay, fine. Whatever you want to say. But the other possibility, right? The other possibility is to say that my past, it's already happened. And what if I let it not affect me? What if I practice letting it go as much as possible and continually, continually, moment to moment to moment, practice managing my thoughts? Because if I practice managing my thoughts and I practice what comes out of my mouth, both my self-talk, I practice what comes out of my mouth and practice what's, what I'm saying to myself within myself, self-talk. If I keep moment to moment to moment to moment practicing that, it's a practice. You're not going to be perfect at it. Of course, you can literally change your emotional state on a regular basis. I do, uh, I've said it multiple times, and I invite you to look this up. I, I practice what's called the energy reboot. And I've said this, and I do this, I practice this several times an hour. And I'm not, you know, as I look back, you know, why did my life suddenly start becoming heavenly five to seven years ago? Because I started practicing the energy reboot five to seven years ago and other aspects related to joyful productivity. So I think that is that was one important system that I changed that has made my life so much better. So check it out. Google, go to Google, search energy reboot, and my video should be there. My blog post should be there. And that's what I practice multiple times an hour. So I actually practice something like a dozen plus times a day. It only takes 20 seconds. So it's easy. It's quick. But because I kept practicing that, I changed my emotional state. And because I changed my emotional state, everything else was changed, right? Because your emotional state di di directs how you react to life and what choices you make in every hour, every moment. So anyway, <laughs> maybe I could start to wrap this up now. And I, I invite you once again to take on as the first step, the powerful thought that you, your life, your business is perfect right now as it is. Now you might not love the results, but you can change the results and you can change what you experience by studying the systems underneath the results and believing, and not just believing, but making a plan to change those systems. So if you do work with, if you are privileged enough to work with a coach or a counselor or a therapist or a mentor or a healer, okay, if you, if you, if you have the means to work with a service provider, what I hope they are helping you with is to study the systems underneath your results of your life and to help you gradually change the systems. I say gradually because it's much more likely to be sustainable if you make gradual changes rather than saying, maybe, I mean, maybe you could change overnight, but your service provider, your coach, your counselor, your therapist should help you study the systems underneath your life and to change them one by one to set those systems in place so that your life becomes increasingly heavenly. So I hope this is helpful. I invite you to continue this conversation below with others who are watching this um, by reflecting on what's one aspect of my life. You're talking about you here. What's one aspect of your life? What's one aspect of your business? that you'd like to experience differently? And what might, how might you write up the systems? Uh, what is the system underneath that, that aspect of your life or business? And how might you design a different system, write up a different system? Now, one more thing I'll say before we, before we go is that there are some aspects of your life that work really well. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, you can, you can find something in your life or your business that is working well. And you can also ask yourself, what is the system underneath that that makes it work so well? Because if you study the systems that are working well for you, you learn about yourself. You learn about, ooh, this kind of system works for me. And as you, as you find out what systems work for you well, you can then borrow that to design other systems that will also work better for you. So 
continue the conversation. Make this something that you, that you actually apply and do. Comment below. I'd love to see what aspect of your life or business you'd like to experience differently. And what might the system be? Write down one, two, three. This might be what's happening. And therefore, this is what I might need to do differently. And, and underneath each thing might be its own system, its own series of ste steps, right? If I said, for example, oh, yeah, you need to be more visible with helpful content. Well, if I said that and you go, well, that, that's true, but that's an overwhelming system for me to think about. Well, you can always chunk it down. You can always own oh, Okay, consistent content, what does that mean? Well, that means I need to set aside time, right? On, on, on Tuesday and a Friday, whatever, you know, you are able to set aside time to, you know, schedule a Focusmate session. I use Focusmate all the time and then start to brainstorm your content, whatever, you know. So, so there is always something you can do to move your life towards a more heavenly timeline. In, in, you know, in the next few months, absolutely possible. So I hope this is helpful. I look forward to seeing if you have any examples you wanna share below or any questions. And until the next video, remember you are in more control over the systems of your life than you can imagine. Be well, take care.